Good evening, my YouTube fans. How are we tonight? This is your Jewish queen speaking. I had a busy day, not as busy as Sunday. Sunday, I had to do 10 rooms, not six, not five, but 10 rooms. Today, I only had five or four. I, I can't remember right now. It, I've been doing so many things today. Um, I cleaned my rooms. They were stayover rooms. I cleaned them. Then I cleaned the bathrooms. Then the bathrooms by the lobby. Then I cleaned the bathrooms in the pool area. And then... I cleaned the lobby. I swept and mopped it. And then the I was done with that, I returned my my list that they gave me with all the rooms and the cleaning the bathrooms and cleaning the lobby paper. And my master key, I returned that, and I signed out on that when I sign when I give it back and then after that I came upstairs I was gonna go to Walmart but then I changed my mind um I went on the phone and called my bank account here in Connecticut Because somebody was trying to get into my app online, my app bank account online, and they forged a check on me, and I called the bank for that, and they have... They have paper, they have paper processing for that forgery check. So, why I was on the phone with the guy, I told him that I wanted to close that checking account and open a new one. So, I opened a new account. The money that was in the old account got switched over to the new account and the new card that they're issuing me that should be in the mail tomorrow or Friday that's connected to my new account he connected it to my new account because I have to get that activated um, and to boot, your Jewish queen also, she also signed up for a credit card through her banking account where it gives you money back when you buy stuff. It'll give you money back on it. So, my thing is, don't let anybody get a hold of your online banking stuff or this will happen to you. And they will forge your name on the back like they did to me. And then you will have to call your bank and say it wasn't you that gave them the authorization. And if it does happen to you, go to the fraud section and have them say you want to talk to the fraud, the people that handles the fraud. The fraud. 
part and make good complaints about it. And then after you do that, you call the banking account again and you change your account in the same bank, but just change your account. And then you have a whole new online account. And that person that gave you the fraud check, that forgeried your check, forged or checked with your name on it and forged your name on the back, won't be able to get into your online bank and won't be able to get into your checking or savings account. So do that. I did that today to save my behind and save my money so my money wouldn't be getting taken out of my account. Because when he went on to my online banking to do that, the guy, he looked at, he had to have looked at my account number and my routing number. So that was making me think, okay, if he's got that information, he could easily take money out of my banking account. So I decided to change my checking account from one checking account to another checking account in the same bank. So therefore, that guy has no idea that I switched accounts. Which helped me, but screws him up if he's trying to forge another check in my name. So don't let that happen to you. If it does, take care of it right away. Listen to the Jewish queen. She knows what she's talking about. And that's the way the Jewish queen bounces. Goodbye for now.